Meantime, the leaders of the G20 signing off on a sweeping new global tax agreement over the weekend. Today, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen and the Irish Finance Minister are meeting in Dublin to underscore their commitment to seeing this through. Elon Moy joins us more with all of it. Good morning. Well, good morning, Andrew. This trip is really symbolically important because Ireland was one of the last holdouts to this deal. And, of course, its low tax rate of 12.5 percent made it famous and helped lure roughly 1,000 of the world's biggest companies, including Apple, Pfizer, IBM, all to Ireland. Finance Minister Pascal Donahue said that the turning point for him to sign on was clearly setting that minimum rate at 15 percent, not at least 15 percent. And he told me that certainty is critical, even if companies see their tax bills rise. They will know how much more they will be paying, and they can be confident that disagreements on these issues will not spill over into bilateral tax disputes or even trade difficulties or tension in the future. But Ireland could still wind up losing €2 billion Euros a year because of the way that revenue from mostly digital companies would be reallocated across the world. Now, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen told me that the tax code has to keep up with the changing economy. I think this is uh, rebalancing to make sure that um, we can not support investments in our economies and that corporations pay their fair share. Now, countries that don't follow through and raise their rates could wind up sacrificing tax revenue to other jurisdictions. So, Becky, there are consequences if somebody breaks their promise. Back over to you. Binding, con binding uh, consequences? Well, so at least as far as the uh, global minimum tax is concerned, that yes, that is part of the deal. As you implement it, there needs to be what they're calling an income inclusion rule that would say if you don't tax up to 15 percent, let's say you keep it at 12.5, some other country can come in and make up that and take that difference in revenue. So hmm. you would lose out. Someone else would get it if you don't follow the rules. That's for that part of the agreement. But the broader, the other part of the agreement around digital taxes, that part is still being negotiated. Elon, thank you. Good to see you.